Hi there everyone, my name's Dave West. I hope you're all doing well. So welcome back to the ultimate video test. And this time I'm checking out the Oppo Find X5 at 60 frames per second. There's a couple of different options at 60 frames per second, some 1080, some 4K. So I'm just gonna show you the options that are available and show you what they're all about. So we're starting the video off at 1080p 60 using the ultra steady mode. Now, bizarrely, you can't choose 30 frames per second for the ultra steady mode. It's just 60, which is a little bit bizarre. And you can use both the ultra wide and the standard wide lens. Now, as I've said in other videos, I'm finding that these ultra steady, super stable, super steady, rock steady, whatever, are becoming a little bit redundant as the image stabilization in the main camera modes has become so good that it kind of makes this a little bit of a throwaway feature. But if you really want to use this just for that little bit more stability, then at least the option is there. For comparison, this is the wide lens. And it gets you that little bit closer. Although the actual clarity of the image, even for 1080p video, is a little bit lacking. It's a bit fuzzy in details. Uh, but I suppose you're probably going to be using this if you want to go that little bit quicker. If you want to strap it to your bike or your car, truck, speedboat, Whatever you want to do, you're not going to be so worried about the image quality, it's the stability which matters most in these modes, hence the word ultra steady mode. So there's a quick look then at the, the two different viewpoints using the 1080p at 60 in the ultra steady mode. All right, so this is where it gets a bit better. This is 4K at 60 using the ultra wide angle camera. Like many other phones, you cannot switch lenses on the go when in 4K 60 mode. So you have to stop recording, reselect your lens, and then start recording again. But the image quality at 4K60 is really decent. You get nice stabilization, a nice wide field of view from the lens, and colors and changes in exposure are all handled really, really nicely. Now, one thing I did notice, and it was something that was brought up by Chris over on his channel Tech Tablets is that the audio bitrate, considering this is a thousand pound device, is not that brilliant. It is capable because if you put it into Filmic Pro, you can increase the bitrate of the audio and it sounds really, really good. It's stereo sound and it has audio zoom, so depending on what camera that you're using, the volume will change. If you get closer using the zoom lens, it will prioritize audio on that subject whereas if you're closer using the ultra wide lens then the microphone will use my voice as the main subject and even at 4k 60 you get the slightly shallower autofocus element of the ultra wide camera but it has got the option if you need as you can see there again it's quite shallow compared to the main lens but it's nice to have that option even if it's not as deep in focus as the main lens. And here is the main lens. And if I show you things like running water, you can see that the more organic and fluid movement is rendered really nicely at 60 frames a second in 4K. And even moving the camera back and forth like this, you can see there's no sort of stutters or judders in the video, so the encoding is really good as well. And it's nice to see that there is consistency between 30 and 60 frames per second, so Nothing changes even when using this mode, so you still get good autofocus on your subject, which adjusts really quickly. Nice audio recording, and even with the, the harsh highlights from the sun, over these leaves here, everything seems to look really nice, in my opinion. Now, here's something which is slightly different to the 4K at 30 frames per second in that 
I think the telephoto camera is lynching a bit off the main lens because this doesn't look as sharp as I would have expected it to on the telephoto camera. It looks okay, but just looking at it through the viewfinder, it does look like it's a little bit over sharpened perhaps. But you at least have the option of zoom at 4K60. Now, if you do want to zoom a little bit further, the most you can do at 60 is 10 times. Don't forget, it was 20 times hybrid zoom at 4K30. The max you can do at 60 is 10 times. And you can see there, I'll be frank, it looks terrible. Um, but if you go back to around about five, it still looks pretty terrible, actually. I think it's because it's cropping off the main lens. It's not actually usually using the telephoto camera. But I'll let you be the judge of that and you let me know what you think of the video at 4K60 using the telephoto lens. All right, so there's a look then at the 60 frames per second modes on the Oppo Find X5. If you enjoyed this little look at the different video options that are available. And if you've got any comments or questions, then please let me know down in the comments section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But don't forget, if you're new around here, then please do consider subscribing so with more videos coming on the channel like this very, very soon. But for now, this has been my 60 frames per second video test on the Oppo Find X5. My name is Dave West, and I'll catch you guys later.